Hey guys, welcome to another review. This is the uh, final review for Kaspersky 2012. Just got released today. So I went and downloaded a fresh copy of it. This is 12.00.374. Uh, and I installed the trial version. It is fully updated. And I'm not going to mess with any of the settings. It's all um, stock. Sorry about that noise. Okay. So uh, what else do we have here? Some of the stuff I could go over. Um, they got a cloud protection aspect to it. I think it's already it's had it for a while, maybe. Um, but this is nice now that you can actually look at it and see, you know, last 24 hours. Um, what else? You got your scan, parental controls, your tools. Uh, safe run, that's their sandbox applications activity so you can watch what different applications are doing. Uh, network monitor, you got your virtual keyboard for entering bank information. Safe run for websites. Um, so this is basically used when you're doing things like um, banking and that type of stuff is just a little extra layer of protection got your quarantine reports up here settings up here like I said I'm not gonna change anything it's all just like it comes installed so we can see how it works so you can see proactive defense all that fun stuff application control so let's close it out here it's got a little widget type deal I'm not a big fan of those. I think they just take up space. So you can keep it. You can turn it off. It doesn't matter. I have that whole bar turned off on my computer because I didn't care for it. So let's see what kind of memory usage we got here. Now, I know this one, this AVP, usually drops down a lot, but that's it's usually because I've just been using it. So I've usually seen it where this AVP or one of them ah, there you go so I got it backwards so like I said between I was gonna say between 20 and 30 megs on one of them and usually two or so megs on the other one so it's not super heavy it seems like they really fixed a lot of the slowdown issues that I was seeing with the uh, previous versions the computer feels zippy and fairly easy to use it doesn't seem to slow down a lot of stuff you can see how fast Internet Explorer is opening So let's start out with some of these links. I haven't checked any of them, but we have a decent amount here, so it should work out pretty good. Okay, so application control here. High danger rating, because it doesn't have a digital signature. I don't know if that really means it's a high danger rating, just because it doesn't have a digital signature but we will restrict it. That's basically putting it in their sandbox. And we'll see what it uh, if it does anything. Close up that one and we'll move on. This is a Java file. Now I don't have Java installed on computer, but I'm going to save it anyway if it can. Okay, so that one was blocked. That's good. And it looks like uh one of these says right here you can see it had an exploit okay no it was this one so it might have been something else that got blocked so that's fine I'm just gonna close this Internet Explorer window okay and that one was blocked Whatever comfort tester is.
Okay, whatever that was. Okay, so it looks like something got, uh, okay, so a part of that AC2 program got detected, or this AC2 program, sorry, but nothing got detected uh, from the AC3 one, so we'll see what happens with that one. Let's see if we have anything running in memory, just for the heck of it. Okay, I don't see anything here, but okay web toolbar component, so some kind of toolbar got installed. Okay, sure. So, you can see. Okay, that's not too good. Dead. See if, if it just keeps loading that same thing over and over and over again. See if I can get inside Task Manager and kill that. so-called unprocessed objects. Looks like it's in temporary internet files. I can't tell because this is not giving me the whole Okay, so it fixed it automatically, okay? So you can definitely see how the computer is slowing down for some odd reason. It's running fairly slow right now. Maybe we can pinpoint it to something. Don't see anything out of the ordinary, but you can see that something's definitely. And Internet Explorer stopped responding.
looks like that was able to run. Whatever this is. And the last one here. Okay, that one's not. Uh, okay, digital signature appeared today. It was used by less than 10 participants. Yeah, yeah. We'll restrict it. Oh, we got one more. Okay, so that one got blocked also. Alright, so now, whatever this thing is, uh, I guess something happened and there's an error. So now I'm going to open up uh, Kaspersky here, and I'm going to do a full scan. So I'm going to let it scan open up this window here to see if it finds anything and I will be back with the results of the scan whenever it's done so I'll see you guys soon hey guys real quick here I want I was wondering what was going on because it, it everything was running really slow and I opened up um, the task manager and I see that there's this whatever this thing is is running in the background that supposedly was uh, isolated but they don't have anything that will isolate it from uh, taking out CPU cycles so that's kind of interesting I think just something I want to show you guys so now it uh, hopefully the scan will speed up because it was taking forever uh, once again I'll be back when it's done alright guys so the scan finished and it found some stuff here Let's see if it'll tell me where. Okay, so a lot of temporary internet files, you can see. This was some packed stuff here. This is packer detection, I guess, but this has got nothing to do with what it found that's that are malware per se so basically temporary internet files and some f packer detection but it said it found 10 threats neutralized 7 but it's not asking me to do anything so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run CCleaner now and then I'm going to reboot and I'm gonna do a well yeah I'm gonna run CCleaner and then uh, I'm going to run Cleaning Essentials, and that's going to ask me to reboot. So, I will be back with the results when it's all done. Alright guys, so Cleaning Essentials finished scanning here, and it says it found one thing. So it looks like that Comfort Tester, part of that, this SPL.exe, says it's unclassified malware. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm not going to remove this. I'm going to leave it and see if anything else finds it. We'll just remember that this is something that it found. And um, we will see what um, Malwarebytes finds. So um, I will pause the video and set up Malwarebytes and run it again and I'll be back with the results alright guys so I finished scanning with Malwarebytes here and it didn't find anything so that's pretty interesting and uh, let's do a scan with Hitman Pro and I will pause and I'll be back with the results from this Alright guys, so Hitman Pro finished scanning here, and it didn't find anything. So, I wanted to check to see if that file that Komodo Cleaning Essentials found was a piece of malware or not. 
So what I did is I uploaded it to VirusTotal, and it's the only one who identified it as malware. So you, th you think, you know, this might be a false positive. Well, I looked at the first time this file was seen, and it's basically, I'm the first person to upload it to VirusTotal. So it's kind of hard to say if it truly is or isn't um, malware. What I'm going to do, though, just for curiosity's sake, I'm going to grab this file off of the virtual machine and hold it on my computer. And then a couple of days or so, uh, I'm also going to submit it to a couple of the uh, antivirus companies, some of the, some of the other ones and see what the result is on this file to see if it really is malware or not and I'll give you guys an update in the comments section of this video uh, when I get a definitive answer on if it is or if it isn't malware. So with that exception uh, we can say that um, the new Kaspersky definitely did very well and it uh, protected the computer Let's open up here. I want to look at something here. Not that one. I want to look at, see if it identified any of them as, so there you go, you can see some of the applications were restricted using the heuristics. You can see right here the heuristics uh, basically identified and restricted the applications as needed. There were some untrusted ones, maybe? No, no untrusted ones. But there were some high restricted ones and there were some low restricted ones. And that SPL one, that one fell in there too. So we'll see. It, it did allow it on the system. So like I said, I'll give you guys the update in a couple of days after I get a definitive answer on that uh, file. That being said, um, Kaspersky is definitely better in my opinion than right now as the 2012 version, definitely better than the 2011, and definitely better in the sense of it's much faster than the 2010 version. Um, that was the last version that I used as a more of a day-to-day -day product and had more experience with it was the 2010, and that thing was painfully slow in my opinion. So their 2012 version, they've definitely improved a lot. So um, that's it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I'll let everybody know what happens with that other file. And uh, that's it. Have a good night and take care.